Hi, it's Kate, and today I'm talking about my president, James Polk. He was the 11th pre president of the United States. He was in the Democratic Party. He was born in North Carolina in 1795. Um, he was favored by Andrew Jackson because he planned on manifesting destiny, which was westward expansion over the United States, and that's what the people wanted. He he won a seat in the House of Representatives in 1825. Then he became governor of Tennessee in 1839. He was elected president in 1844 and served only one term. He died shortly after because he was sick and was very exhausted from being president and died at 53. Hi, grandparents, it's Sebastian. My president is Thomas Jefferson. He was the third president and he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Hope I get to see you soon. Bye. Hi, grandparents. It's Georgina. Um, my president was Andrew Jackson. He was the seventh president. Um, he was part of the Democratic Party, and he was president from 1828 to 1837, and he stood up for the common people. Um, he was orphaned at the age of 14 due to the Civil War, and he was the first president to ever be attempted assassinated. Assassinated? Okay. Hello, grandparents. Currently in class, we are learning about presidents. My president is Benjamin Harrison. He was the 23rd president and part of the Republican Party. Hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully I see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, Nana. Hi, Pop Pop. It's Lila. Um, and happy grandparents today. I'm sorry that due to COVID, you are not able to really be with me, but I'm happy that we still get to do a, um, a virtual um option as well so um as you know i'm in eighth grade and um we are working on the president's project um i got one of my favorite presidents um which it, which was um ronald reagan and um his years in office were from 1981 to 1989 and he was actually the 40th president um one of my favorite things about him and I think this is one of the reasons he really helped form the country um, was that he believed in peace um, and for us all to be together as one. So um, instead of just everyone is kind of all over the place and um, we're not working with each other as a country, he helped um, form us back into being together. And especially one of my favorite things that I always talk about in my project is the Berlin Wall. Um, he helped so much to tear down the wall and um, even though he could have just said, okay, well, since we're not part of that country, we don't need to help, he still truly cared um, about others, um, even if they're in a different country, and um, he helped make a difference. So that's just a little bit about Ronald Reagan, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, and bye. Hello, grandparents. Today, I'm talking about my president, Andrew Johnson. <laughs> And a fun fact, you probably didn't know about him. He was actually the first president to get impeached. Um, love you guys. Stay safe. Hi, grandparents. I hope you're doing well. So right now we're learning about presidents, and my president is William Howard Taft. He was the 27th president of the United States. He was the largest president, weighing over 330 pounds. And a fun fact is he got stuck in one of the White House bathtubs, and they had to buy a really oversized one for him. Hello, my president is Grover Cleveland. He is the only president that was in office once, left, and then came back. So he served two separate terms. And he, it, he both hurt and helped the country, but at the end of his second term, he was not very, not very liked by a lot of people. Hello, grandparents. My name is Mac. Uh, we're learning about presidents in school right now. My president is Bill Clinton, and a fun fact about him is that he was the second president to get impeached. I hope you have a good grandparents' day, and I love you. Hi, it's Andrew. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my president, Franklin Roosevelt. He was president from 1933 to 1945, and he was a great leader. He led our country through the world, one of the world wars, World War II, and he led our country through the Great Depression. He when people were like struggling to like find jobs, he provided jobs for them and like helped country get back on the street. 
and overall, he greatly helped the United States and was one of the best leaders in American history. Uh, love you guys, hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you have a great grandparents day. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my president for a brief moment, George Bush. He was the 43rd president, and his greatest accomplishment was his response to 9-11. Love you guys. Hello, grandparents. I'm Ruben. Uh, in school, we are learning about presidents. My president is William McKinley. Um, he was the 25th president, and he was the president during the Spanish-American War. I hope you all are doing great, and we love you. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. It's Ava, and I'm going to be talking about my president, James Madison. He was the fourth president of the United States, and he ser he his years in office were from 1809 to 1817. He was one of the founding fathers of the Constitution, and he helped write the Bill of Rights. Um, if you didn't know, an interesting fact about him was that he was the smallest president ever, and he his height was five four and he weighed 100 pounds while he was in office. Hello, grandparents. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my president for my president's project. I have George H.W. Bush. He had some major accomplishments like the attack of Kuwait, aka Desert Storm, where he got 35 different countries to help him attack Kuwait. And he also signed the uh, Um, the, the Americans with Disabilities Act, which made a big impact on millions just for like being employed and going to like public places. And he just did a very good job, but he also did a few other things that were not so good, like raising taxes and cutting military spending. Bye. Hello, grandparents. It's Michael Babinchak here. And I will be talking with you about Woodrow Wilson he was the 28th president. He served. He was the president from 1913 to 1921, and he led America into World War One. And he had an amazing accomplishment called the League of Nations, which was after World War, which he wanted to have peace, which almost every single country signed, and a, a couple didn't. One of them was America, which is kind of ironic. And there are many, many great things about Woodrow Wilson, and yeah, he's my president. Hello, grandparents. It's Sophia, and my president is James Monroe. James Monroe is the fifth president, and he was a part of the Democratic Republican Party, which was the only party at that time, and it was known as the era of good feelings because of the one-party dominance and lack of political conflict. And um, before he was president, he studied law with Thomas Jefferson, but he never really liked law, so he went into politics. And during his presidency, he was able to accomplish great things like the Monroe Doctrine, which forever strengthened and changed the American foreign policy, and he oversaw major Western expansion. So that's just a little bit of what he was able to do. He was a great president, and that's who I have. Happy Grandparents Day, Mew and Cecil. Um, my president is John Quincy Adams. He was. He served from 1824 to 1828, and he was the first son of a president. He was the sixth president of the United States, and he kept an alligator in his bathtub. I love and miss you guys, and I hope you have a great grandparents' day. Hi to anyone who might not know me. My name's Maggie Birch, and if any of my family or friends are watching this, I really miss you all so, so much, and I hope you are staying safe during these times. Um, for my 8th grade history project, I was chosen to do Chester Allen Arthur. He was known as a very put-together president, and like, well clothed all the time. He wore very nice clothing and was a very helpful president in many areas. So first thing that he did that I think is really important is he signed the Pendleton Civil Service Act, which made it so you were hired for your skill and not political relationship towards someone. He also kept um, the US Navy in a good condition. And then he also um, made the US postal system fair and that was a little bit about Chester Allen Arthur. He was the 21st president of America and served from 1881 to 1885. Um, and I'm really sad that we couldn't do our big performance this year for Grandparents Day, but I hope this video makes up for it just a little bit. Um, I love you all so much and just thank you for watching. Happy Grandparents Day.